this way and manner. We are not waiting for them to say anything because Allah is finished. But the Arab are saying, وَالْحَقُّ مَا شَهِدَ بِهِ الْعَدُمِ The truth is that which even the enemy has testified to it. That's the truth. Even your enemy say, yeah, you're a nice man. Your enemy. Yeah, he's my enemy, but he's truthful. Objective. So, Muhammad Rasulullah. Muhammad is Allah's messenger. وَالَّذِينَ مَعْهُ those around him, ma'ahu, those with him. Are we part of such people? Walladheena ma'ahu, those with him. Are we such people? No. You say no? Yes. So you're divided. Say so yes and no. Like the British, yes, Europe or out of Europe. Which will two? No, 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 that's quite different. We are part of it. We are Ummatul Muhammad. We belong to the Muhammadan nation, the Muhammadan community. Why not? But the Quran talks about those that we are nearest to Him. Alladina Ayashuhu Walakum. Walladina Ma'u, those with Him. Ashidah al kufar a very strict and firm against the disbelievers. Now, somebody can take this ayah out of context. Say, so, okay, we're strict firm. Let's find and kill. You're wrong. The meaning, according to scholars, is that they are strict against any foreign culture influencing them. Yeah. I maintain my Islamic identity, I grow my beard. I trim my fingers. I put my turban or the hijab to my wife and daughters, wherever it happened to me. Strict. I will never allow anything to infiltrate me. That's the meaning. That's what scholars say. That is why go and take tafsir from scholars. Not from every Tom Dick and Harry. It has to be based on scholarship. Don't mutilate the Quran. So those around him, Ashida, are very firm, stand, strict against the disbelievers. They don't be allowed to be filled by them. But we see you smoking as the Kafra smoking. Then you are not part of this. Adopting their lifestyles, drinking behavior, womanizing, chilling. Oh, come on. You're not. Don't allow any alien culture to infiltrate you. That's the meaning. Maintain your deed. Hold your head above your shoulder high. Yeah, I'm a Muslim. Anywhere. No apologies. But don't be dogmatic. Don't be bad. Don't be out of the way. Try to be good, telling the not Muslims how Islam is beautiful. Through your attitude, they're going to understand religion. But not to be dogmatic, abusive, killing. Who tell this one? Aruz Billah. Represent Islam as it should be represented. May Allah get us a right. So, Walladina ma wash al kufar, but then Uruhama ubayinahum. Compassion amongst themselves. You love your brother. You are a brother's keeper. Say, brother, I'm hungry. Take it easy. Take the dollar. Go and eat. Don't thank me. You are my brother indeed. I'm from America. You are from Africa. No, forget about this one. We're talking about religion, not geography, not color. Islam is against ethnicity. The, the scholars are saying the South Africa during their Apathy. You know apathy in South Africa? Mm -hmm. Who knows apathy system? Color. Uh -huh. Segregation. Segregation based on color. For 300 years, blacks were. It's not a game. Pre 
clear bridges. So the scholars are saying, if the boss, that's their name, the South African, the white, if they have known Islam well, they will have done away with apartheid system. Yeah. Islam is the most important vehicle for gender equity, not gender equality, but equality, thank you. Gender equity, racial equity, black and white are the same in the eyes of God. I cannot claim to be a bummy because of my color, I'm an African, you're an you European, no, 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 no. The one, the base of you in the eyes of Allah is the base in conduct. Whether you're from Caribbean, Latin America, America, Africa, wherever, that does not count. Your creator is one same Allah. Inna akramakum, inna Allah atqaakum, inna Allah alimun khabir. Says Quran 49 number 13. So, وَالَّذِينَ مَعَوْ أَشِدَّ عَلَى الْكُفَّارِ بَكْ رُوحَ مَا أُبَيْنَهُمْ you see them bowing down in ruku posture. Sujjadan prostrating. Yabtaguna fadlam min Allah wa dhuwala looking for Allah's bounty and his own pleasure. Seemaum fi ujuhihi Their indicated feature are in their own face. Their signs on their faces through where they put their forehead. All of the prophets pray to Allah. Even in the Bible, in the book of Nehemiah chapter 8, he fell down and prayed to God. In the New Testament, in the Matthew, Jesus fell down and prayed. We do our prayer. One day I was speaking to one pastor, a friend of mine, I said, look, pastor, I am more like Jesus than you are because I grow beards you throw the picture of Jesus in bed but look at you clean shaven or dirty bed shaven I was cracking a joke that's the one said number two I wear a long robe Jesus he throw his picture with long drop but look at you in trench suit so if Jesus comes he knows me first before you I said number three, my sister, my mother is more like Mary, the mother of Jesus, because he drew the picture of Mary in the hijab. My sister is weary, but your girls go half naked. And he claimed to be Christians. He said in a general English, Che, this mala. <laughs> Maybe you're surprised. Say, yeah, that's the truth. So he got to explain the religion. Not through dogmatism. Extend the olive branch to the people. Islam is for mercy. Let it be preached through friendship, through intellectual dialoguing. You can't force me. All right. Allah says, like Rafi did, allow people to appreciate Islam through its beautiful teachings, humanity, mercy, compassion. That's Islam. Okay? So, you're talking of problem. Okay, that's what you said. Okay? You see their sign through the salute. That is their example in the Torah. The example of these believers in Injil. What is Injil? Now, you said the Bible, the gospel, the gospel, beautiful. Don't say in Jesus the Bible. The very term Bible is never mentioned in the whole of the Bible from the book of Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, last with the book of Deuteronomy, I mean the book of uh, Revelation. The very word Bible is a Greek term meaning be below a book. The translation is the gospel. And gospel means good news. That's the meaning of 
So the bold people are saying the book of Jesus cannot claim to be the actual revelation. It's been interpolated, changed, corrupted, okay? But as a Muslim, preach to your Christian friend in a friendly way. Say, who is my friend? Please tell me this. Explain to me. Engage them in friendly discourse. People are easily convinced through nice discussion, not dogmatic. Let me make it for of us. So, the example in the gospel or in the Injil, Allah says, Kazarim, like seed produce. Seed produce. If you like it, like a plant, seedling, okay, that brings forth its sprouts, little sprouts. For other, making it strong. Faster lover becoming stout and strong. Faster ala suki maintaining a resilience on the stem. To tell you in this good example, Muslims gain strength from strength to strength. Just like a plant starts weak later, it becomes what? Strong. By the time a new plant is planted, tomorrow, next tomorrow, it grows and becomes really strong like a tree. That is the example of even somebody coming to Islam newly. He is very weak, but if he has spent time seeking knowledge, he's going to become strong in knowledge. Such that you can never ever take him back. But if somebody comes into Islam without learning, just he allows it to be just sentiment, segregation, then he finally becomes just like ignorance. So each and every Muslim should make seeking for knowledge his cardinal principle in life. Otherwise, this example cannot fit you. Okay? First of all, first of all, Suki, you ajibu zara, sending pleasure to the souls. Liyaghiba bihim al kuffar, so that the unbelievers are enraged in the process. وَعَلَى اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ مِنْهُمْ مَغْفِرَةً وَأَجْرًا أَفِيمًا Allah promises or promised those who believe amongst them and act righteously amongst them مَغْفِرَةً Okay? Remitted of the sea of forgiveness وَأَجْرًا أَفِيمًا and a tremendous, tremendous reward اللَّهُمْ أَعْطِنَا مَغْفِرَةً مِنْ إِنْدِكَ that marks the end of the surah. Oh Allah, as this surah comes to an end, do make our life to come to an end in a way that pleases you. We are now going to the next surah, new chapter known as Surah Al Hujurah. Let's take the recitation before the introduction. يا أيها الذين آمنوا لا تقدموا بين يدي الله ورسوله واتقوا الله إن الله سميع عليم يا أيها الذين آمنوا لا ترفعوا أصواتكم فوق صوت النبي ولا تجاهوا له بالقول كجهر بعضكم لبعض ان تهبط اعمالكم وانتم لا تشعرون. This is our new surah known as Surah Al Hujurat. It is surah number 49. If you're traveling, you're coming from Baqarah, Fatiha, Baqarah, Alin, and down. This is surah number 49. Having 18 ayat or verses. One surah the Zam Shida. Kavanaka Mun Karanta in the Allah Ta'ala Chi and Nabi Muhammad Munzam Allah. So Harmaka Tambayi Kamu. May name who could chin in anti Muhammad Sullah Mutunza Salati. By any other about to cheer up. Yung wanda salati, 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 yung w
Masmura gani tunda dai Sayyidina Umar wata ranya karanta wata aya wa fi samai rizqukum ma tu'adu yace ashra a cikin sallah to abu ne muhimmi kai wannan salati in an kira sunan manzon Allah a cikin sallah sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Now this is the new surah surah al-hijrat hijrat means little dwellings small small groups hijrat Allah akbar If you go to Medina today you see the mosque the grand mosque in Medina so gigantic imposing captivating mesmerizing breathtaking the place where the mosque is today was the place where the hujrats they were the room of the personal sabr where there This surah teaches us how to behave well to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, how to respect him, to know his personality, to obey his words, don't say things before he ever says it. And the name of the surah is taken from a word that occurs in a place Allah says, "Inna al-ladina yuradun al-hujurat." Those who call you behind your small rooms, that's the hujurat. That is the place from which the name of the surah is taken. And like I've said, it has how many ayats? Eighteen. What is the number from Baqarah? Forty-nine. What is its jinsia? Meccan or Medina Surah? Medina. Medina. Its category is Medina Surah. Hey now. How many letters does it have? Letters. A, B, T. How many letters? Even the scholars have calculated. How many? Three. Three. Later. 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 Exactly. From the beginning to end of it. How many letters? It has 1,000. 493 letters on the phone al hujurat now it says ya ayyuhal ladhina bismillahir rahmanir rahim ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu o you who believe look at it we have been addressed with the base of all names not ya ayyuhal al arab or al amerikiyun no 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 al ladhina amanu addressing you the base of all qualifications oh you who believe we say na'am ya rabb la tuqaddimu bayna yadayhi allah wa rasulihi wa attaqu allah inna allah samiun alim don't go beyond allah and the messenger al imam al baydawi said the meaning is that don't say anything without getting permission from allah or the messenger so this ayah number one is against anybody making new introduction to Islam making bid'ah the ayah is anti-bid'ah anti-concoction and fabrication maintain the religion as should be I told you earlier any religion that claims to be from Allah must satisfy how many conditions? four five four conditions any religion claiming to be truthful must have four conditions should I say that again? number one it must come from Allah himself if it is man made waste of time if you are a man you are going to die can I follow you as a human being? did you correct me? you didn't correct me that is condition number one number two that religion must maintain its originality no introduction or subtraction it has to be done the way the prophet did it first that's great number three it must not be changed it's not changeable it must maintain what i call unchangeability 
you can change your country's constitution. It's man made. But Quran look at how said how? Did you write it? Number four, it must appeal to positive human nature. Like how? Going to sleep is part of my nature. I have to sleep. If any religion tells you, you know, wash you, go not sleep, it's not from Allah. <laughs> it's against it's my nature. Or tell me not to eat. Do you want me to die? I go to eat and drink and sleep. So it must appeal to positive, not negative humanity. Because part of your nature is to commit bad things. Okay. Not that one. So this ayah says لا تقدموا بين يدي الله ورسوله واتقوا الله إن الله السميع العليم. Don't go beyond Allah and the Messenger. Fear Allah, for Allah is Sami, all hearing, Alim, all knowing. He hears and knows. So by the time you do something, thinking nobody hears you, Allah heard you. Yeah. If you feel nobody knows, Allah knows you. So one man and one, one, one sheikh says, إِذَا مَا خَلَوْتَ الدَّحْرَ يَوْمًا فَلَا تَقُلْ خَلَوْتُ وَلَكِنْ قُلْ عَلَيَّ رَقِيبُ وَلَا تَحْسَبَنَّ اللَّهَ يَقُلُ سَاعَةً وَلَا أَنَّمَا تُخْفِهِ أَنْهُ يَقِيبُ If you are one day alone, say, oh, no, alone, nobody sees me. Remember, Allah sees you. There are angels taking documentation on you. Allah Akbar. So it says, in Allah, Allah, Sami, hears you. Alim knows you. Next ayah. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu la tarfa'u aswatakum fawqa sawtin nabi wa la tajahabu lahu bil qawli ka jahri ba'dikum li ba'dil antah bata'amadukum wa antum la tashurun inna alladheena yaguddun aswatahum inda rasulillahi ulaika alladheena amtahana allahu qulubahum littaqawa I want you, this surah has a special way of presentation. It has been teaching law after law. Now we're going to have law number one. I want you to have your pain take down the number of laws introduced in this surah. You're going to come across about eight or ten. Beautiful teachings for your life here and beyond. Law number one, if I call it law. Yeah, you will, okay. Number one, already we have number one. Lie to cut is number one. Don't go beyond. So, principle or law number one, don't commit bidah. That is number one. By saying, La to cut the mobile in a day in Lahi or a sort of the end of it. It's very strict against making an introduction, any concoction into the religion of Allah. That is number one. Number two, all you who believe, لا ترفعوا أصواتكم فوق صوت النبي ولا تجهروا له بالقول كجهر بعضكم لبعض أن تحبط عمالكم وأنتم لا تشعروا. That is number two. All you who believe, do not raise your voices on the top of the prophet's voice principle. Now, if this applied to them, he was talking, he was alive, they were alive, how does this principle apply to them? Can somebody make any suggestion? How? Yes. How? It's applied on this present and it's Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam see something Nobody can see. Beautiful. Because it says, don't raise your voices above his. His voice only was alive. Now it's gone. Does that mean the ayah doesn't have any application? No, it's an application. 
its applicability is for eternity. The applicability is for eternity. Al Imam Malik, rahmatullahi alayhi, one day he was written hadith. Somebody talked. He said, La tarfa'u aswatakum. Just as we've said. Malik, when he was alive, he was alive. But to him, since I am telling you his word, it is as if he was alive. You get it? Yeah. A good message. So this is principle number two. If any sheikh tells you, the prophet has said, don't tell me what X what I have said. Who is that person? Now, those who have read economics, they're going to tell you the principle of economics of David Ricardo, Adam Smith, the wealth of nation. They tell you A, B, C, D. That principle of David Ricardo economics is not as good as what Prophet has said. So don't rank it above what Allah said. Or in some comes to tell you their constitution is higher than any other law. So no, no, no. We as Muslims know any law about Allah. Said. Am I communicating? Am I? Beautiful. This is number two. So don't raise your voices on the top of his own voice. That's principle number two. وَلَا تَجْحَرُوا لَهُ بِالْقَوْلِ Don't raise, don't speak to him the way you're speaking to one another. That is كَجَحَرِ بَعْضِكُمْ لِبَعْضِهُ أَنْ تَحْبَطَ أَعْمَالُكُمْ وَأَنْتُمْ لَا تَشْعُرُونَ Lace, your deed will be brought enough. Meaning, your deed will be destroyed without you even knowing. So, there's another principle. How many principles? Three. Don't commit bidia. Don't raise your voice above his own voice. And don't call him the way you are calling your friend. Your name is Ibrahim. Say, hey Ibrahim, come on. Don't say Muhammad. No, don't say that. لا تجعلوا دعاء الرسول بينكم كدعاء بعضكم بعضا. In one sort. Look at it. But there is reason for this revelation. أن عبد الله بن الصبير قال قدم ركب ركب من بني تميم على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم فقال أبو بكر أمر القعقع ابن معبد وقال عمر بل أمر الأقرع ابن حابس فقال أبو بكر ما أردت إلا خلافي وقال عمر ما أردت خلافك فتمارع إس سيد البخاري there was a tribe that came to the Prophet Sallallahu The tribe is known as Banu Tamim. They came to him and they were departing going back. Abu Bakr said, Ya Rasulullah, appoint Al-Qa'qa to be their leader. Umar said, no, 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 appoint Al-Aqra ibn Habis. Abu Bakr said, Are you, do you want to to dissent with, to, from me? Are you taking different views? Well, I'm not trying to be against you. So they kind of, they quarrel. Raising their voice. And I said, no! Don't raise your voice in the presence of my prophet. <laughs> this great me! Great me! And somebody is telling you, Qala Rasulullah is telling you, Qala Shaykh. Who is the Shaykh? Qala Rasulullah is the Qala Al-Mu'allim. Who is the Mu'allim? Muhammad is the Mu'allim. For those who only know. But those deceived by Satan, forget about them. They're going to die. They're going to meet their creator one day. The writer of uh, Ishrimiya says, "Da'u kull qawlin inda qawli Muhammadi, fama aminu fi dinihi kal mukhatiri." Leave anyone not saved by Allah the Messenger. 
somebody entrusted like Muhammad is above any other mountain. Any other mortal. So you can see now we have how many principles? La tukaddimu, la tarfa'u, wa la tajharu lahu bil qawl. How many principles? Three. In the second eye. So as you take the principle one, you get a little principle, you lose it. You know, that is why specifically you should read Surah al hijrat and Surah al -Nur. These two swords give Muslims clearly some clear what we call code of conduct, code of ethic, principle three. If you're going anywhere, if you want to call say Rasulullah, don't say Muhammad say no, no. Say Qala Rasulullah, Qala Nabiullah, Allah's messenger, Allah's prophet, his beloved. Respect him. So Allah says, "Wala tajharulahu bil qawli." Okay, don't speak with him in the same way and manner as you speak to one another. Otherwise, your deed will be destroyed. Another way in Bukhari and Muslim, there was a Sahabi by the name Thabit to Ibn Qais ibn Shammas al Ansari. This Sahabi came to the Prophet's Majlis, his place. The man had a very, very, what do you call it, hoarse voice. When he talks, you hear him, oh, like this. When he talks to you, you hear him there. He has a large voice, chauffeur's voice. So the Prophet was talking, Thabit was talking. This ayah too was revealed. So he left the majlis of the Prophet crying, weeping. He will come to the mosque and pray secretly and just go back home. Few days, the Prophet didn't see him. So why did Thabi? Somebody said, Ya Rasulullah, the ayah that was revealed, he felt it was revealed against him. He felt he's going to the hellfire. So now go and tell him who was in Ahl al Jannah. Thabitu, Ibn Qais, Ibn Shammas al Ansari. Okay? He said, I'm afraid. My voice is so loud. Speaking, not talk my voice in his presence. I am afraid. So now here, they'd love 10 persons. You are so and so, and he was happy. So he was trying to control, control his body. That is why a good Muslim does not speak in the loudest volume hmm, of his voice. Trying to be good mannered, no good behavior. What you are talking as well, shouting. Come on, speak diligent. Even your little child and say, "Hey, boy, go to go to school, gonna punish me." Don't say that. My son, which is better? Mm. My son, <laughs> my son, which is better? My son. Call the house secretary, don't you? Don't Allah Malaya, son. Don't Allah, son. The strength makes a difference. Your wife, tell a nice word. My darling. Oh, your food is so delicious. Even though it's not. <laughs> but you try just to manage. Manage the situation. Very important. The one you teach in the classroom, you should know how to spend your pupils. Come to the class on time. If they are late, tell them, hey, don't come late. It's better you come early. Nice work. وَقُولُوا لِلنَّاسِ حُسْنَا Says the Quran for Allah. Okay? So, this is uh, principle number three. Let's hear the next ayah. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ إِنَّ الَّذِينَ يَغُدُّونَ أَصْوَاتَهُمْ عِنْدَ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ مُلَائِكِ 
أولئك الذين امتحن الله قلوبهم للتقوى لهم مغفرة وأجر عظيم. Those who control their voice, that is Yahudu. Those who control and suppress their voices in the presence of Allah's apostle, Ulaika Saj, are those that Allah has purified their heart. For attack, what is attack? Keeping the do's and don'ts of Allah. Allahumma ja'alna min al-mataqeen. Lahum maghfiratun for them shall be forgiveness, wa'ajurun azim and tremendous reward and recompense. Inna al-ladhina ila dhulu. As for those who kept on calling you behind your room, living rooms, most of them don't have functioning common sense. They are like insane. Some tribe came, they didn't know in which room was the prophet. And they said, Ya Muhammad, ukhruj ilayna. Out of business. They didn't know how to behave in presence. Ya Muhammad, ukhruj ilayna. Come on, wanna see you. Allah says, إن الذين ينادونك من وراء الحجرات أكثرهم لا يقلون. They don't know how to behave. How do we call like this? أخرج لنا disrespect, attitudinal irresponsibility. So Allah says, أكثرهم most of them لا يقلون lose their common sense. ولو أنهم صاروا ولو أنهم صبروا حتى تخرج إليهم لكان خيرا لهم. نعم. والله غفور رحيم. This is ayah number five. In this surah number forty nine, surah al-Hijr. ولو أنهم صبروا حتى تخرج إليهم لكان خيرا لهم والله غفور رحيم. If they had persevered a little. If they had exercised patience until you came out, it will be better for them. But Allah is the full of forgiving, Rahim, all merciful. Upon their bad behavior, Allah has forgiven them. Now we have had this, now we are going to principle number four. Next. يا أيها الذين آمنوا إن جاءكم فاسق بنبأ فتبينوا فتبينوا أن تصيبوا قوما بجعالة فتصبحوا على ما فعلتم نادمين واعلموا أن فيكم رسول الله لو يطيعكم في كثير من الأمر لعنتم ولكن الله حبب إليكم الإيمان وزينه في قلوبكم وكرى إليكم الكفر والفسوق والعصيان أولئك هم الراشدون فضلا من الله ونعمة والله عليم حكيم. Now look at the style of the surah. We have heard principle number one, two, three. Now we're going to the fourth of the principles said in this surah al-Hajra. It says, يا أيها الذين آمنوا إن جاءكم فاسق بنبأ فتبين أن تصيبوا قوما بجهالة for Tuzbilan Bat Najim. O you who believe, if a Fasid, who is a Fasid? We won't. Profligate. Somebody transgress and believing is Fasid. Somebody rebellious against Allah, Fasid. Who is committing act of disobeying Allah flagrantly. Such man is called Fasid. If such a man comes to you with a piece of information substantiate it go on a kind of a fact, find a mission, exercise good principle 
principle number four, you shouldn't take any information given to you by every Tom, Dick and Harry. Try to establish acceptability otherwise. Otherwise, you plunge into system of difficulty. You see, if this Quranic principle is implemented today by the journalists, what we call junk journalism will have been thrown away. Junk journalism. Tabloid. Yellow reportorial irresponsibility will have been left. Now, if somebody tells you, oh, my friend, your friend ABC has abused me. Oh, he abused me, and I'm going to crush him. Tell him. Okay, I'll find out. Whatever you hear, no. There was this story in the area I come from. A king. An information was brought to him of an old lady who was selling local things. She came to a nearby house after hawking and selling. Nobody even asked her to buy. The owner of the house returned and she screamed, Oh, my trinket has been stolen. And people said, Okay, that old lady is the one. Without evidence. The lady was captured and taken to the king of the locality and she severed her hand. Cut off her hand. Claiming to be implemented IR 38 in Surah number 5. Allah says what? Wasariku. والسارقة فقطعوا أيديهما جزاء بما كسبا نكالا من الله والله عزيز حكيم. He that steals and she that steals shall have their hands severed. This is even in the Bible. It's a magic. You're surprised. But without any making an investigation, sir, the old lady was downcast, crying, weeping, Allah wa Akbar. Then a lady came back and told her, Oh, I came, I have taken your trinket. We have been doing it between you. She said, What? What? What happened? No, 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 we've done something very, very, very irretrievable. They rush to the palace of the king. The old lady was downcast, crying, wailing. And the two ladies came. Says, Your Royal Majesty, this is my friend. She was the one that borrowed my trinket, unknown to me. Mm. And the king was about to fall down from his own chair. So what can I do? He began to cry too. La ilaha illallah. We call it jungle justice. JJ, jungle justice. <laughs> Kangaroo court. You see, come on. So he looked at them and said, Hey, tell me whatever you want. I'm going to give you. Lady, grandma, tell me whatever you want in this world that I can. I'm going to give you at least to assuage you. I have done irreparable damage to you, incalculable damage to you. Your hand, go off. Allah she looked at him said may allah forgive you i have forgiven you allah. wonderful do we have such behavior today mm -hmm. the attorneys the lawyers will claim money damage she said i have been crying not because of my hand but because i have been dented still that's my cry i have never done it and crying, oh Allah, intervene to clear my name. That's my cry, not because of the hand. Allah has decreed that I am going to I'm going to, I'm going to live it today, and I have submitted to Him. As for you, go ye forgiven. Mm -hmm. Then somebody warned the king. He said, "What did you do with this very eye? I am number six. In Surah number 49, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu in 
جاءكم فاسق بنبا فتبينوا ان فتبينوا establish the truth about it so this is an important principle this principle number what four so Allah even calls those bringing rumor as farcical the ayah has risen one man was sent to collect zakat on reaching the area he just turned back to the prophet crying or you know waiting Ya Rasulullah, I have gone, but they wanted to kill me. It was not the truth. So Allah said, establish the veracity or otherwise before you jump to conclusion. The example of this king, he has jumped to an inconclusive conclusion. So don't judge people on superficial information. Be very careful. Establish your record well, otherwise we end up regret as this king was once. And to see Bukoman Bijahala. Okay. You meet you do things against people out of ignorance. And you end up regretting. That is for to see who Alama Faltumat. Wa alamu and the fiukum rasulullah. I think that's the right. You should know. Allah's messenger is in your midst. Fiku. Li anna fi tufidu zarfiyya. Ma zala hayya mutawajir al-bayna dhaharanayim. You should know Allah's messenger is amongst you. Law yuti'ukum fi kathirum min al-amri la'anitum. If you are to obey you, do your bidding on a lot of things, la'anitum, you will have found yourself in difficulty. You will have found Yes, and because anything from Ant. Okay? Walakin Allah habbaba ilaykum il imana, but Allah has made iman something low in your heart. Was a yanahu making it luring or fear seeing? Alright? In your own heart. Wakarra ilaykum il kufra, and he has made disbelief something abominable. You hate it. Wal fusuka and profligacy, wal isyan and act of disobedience to Allah. Ulaika hum rashidun. Such are the ones that are rightly guided. You see, this ayah number seven is an expansion analysis on what we said previously. We are yet to get another principle. Maybe now we are going to. Okay, fadlan, fadlan fi Allah wa niima. It is bounty from Allah and His own ni'mah that is grace. Wallahu alimun hakim. Allah is alim, all knowing, hakim, all wise. Now we go to principle number five. five. Read the ayah. <laughs> فَإِنْ بَغَتْ إِحْدَاهُمَا عَلَى الْأُخْرَى فَقَاتِلُوا الَّتِي تَبَغِي حَتَّى تَفِيءَ إِلَى أَمْرِ اللَّهِ فَإِنْ فَاءَتْ فَأَصْلِحُوا بَيْنَهُمَا بِالْعَدَلِ وَأَقْسِطُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ يُحِبُّ الْمُقْسِطِينَ إنما المؤمنون إخوة فأصلحوا بين أخويكم واتقوا الله لعلكم ترحمون. Now you look at this ayah with rapt attention. So far we have had how many principles? This is the fifth. This is the fifth or the sixth? The fifth. The fifth one. We're going to the fifth. Allah says. وَإِنْ طَائِفَتَانِ مِنَ الْمِنَ تَقْتَلُ فَأَصْلِهُ بَيْنَهُمَا Whenever two groups of believers fight, two groups of believing men and women, if they fight, okay, now comes the teaching. فَأَصْلِهُ بَيْنَهُمَا Reconcile 
between both of the warring parties. Now, reconciliating between the Ummah is a good principle in Islam. Try to make sure two friends that don't sit to each other reconcile. Okay? Wasulhu khayy wa uhdiratil anfus al-shayy. Always reconciliation is very important. So this is an important principle. If two groups of Muslims fight, do try and bring Islam. Initiate a reconciliation process between them. That is for aslihu bainahuma. But for in bagal ihdahuma ala al after reconciliatory efforts, one party prove arrogant, attacking, then join hand with the one accent and fight the other one. Another principle. Two. Principle number one, which make it fifth, reconciliation. And number two, join hand with the one loving peace again, the one that is rebellious, that is hawkish, that wants to fight. I hope it is clear. For in fact, but if along the line, the one which is transgressive, renounce violence, or king, for aslihu bayinahu. Go back to the table of reconciliation, build in equity. Okay? Then our axical and maintain justice. For in Allah, certainly Allah, you help Bulmuqsadin loves those who maintain justice and equitable behavior. So how many principles here inside? Now two plus four previously six. Next ayah. Allah says, Innamal Mu'minuna Ikhwatun. Another verse. You should know the believers are but one another's brother. Mu'minun. Allah did not qualify by geography, by ethnicity, by any position. Allah didn't say, Innamal Mu'minun al Amrikiyun, for example. Innamal Mu'minun al Sirudiyun. Forget about it. Just Innamal Mu'minun. You are a believer from any part of the globe, you are my brother. So Allah says, you should know the believers are but brothers. So it's a principle how it establishes universal Islamic togetherness. But do we maintain it today? We are not divided into many nations, foreign nations, la ilaha illallah. Each and every nation protecting its border. The Ukhwa is no longer there. So that we find ourselves preserving the culture of others. We speak English better than we speak Arabic. Or as Africans even better than our language back home. Alright? So, believers are the Lord of each other. So do reconciliation between your brothers. What talk Allah, keep your duty to Allah. La Allah perchance you will earn Allah's mercy. You see, this we have two principles plus the four mentioned previously, making the total of six. Is it six? Okay, so next I
بئس الاسم الفسوق بعد الايمان ومن لم يتب فاولئك هم الظالمون. This is ayah number 11. يا ايها الذين امنوا لا يسخر قوم من قوم عصى ان يكونوا خيرا منهم to the end of the ayah. All you who believe. لا يسخر قوم من قوم. Let not a people make jest of other people. Jesting, belittling people because of their tribe. Don't do that. So such a tribe, it's a battle tribe. Don't do that. Don't look down upon a people. Don't do this. A good principle. Respect. Each and every human being has his own value. Yeah. A Muslim or non-Muslim. Is God creation respecting in a way that Allah wants it? Come and come. Why? Asa in your kuno khayram mil perchance those that are jested at are better than the jester. Meaning, it is quite possible those looked up upon are better in the eyes of other those who claim to be something. ولا نساء من نساء no women against women men shouldn't do it against men so also women shouldn't do it against women an important word principle principle number eight don't do sukhriya don't make mockery of somebody mocking him because he is poor is in tatters. He is jobless. No, 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 no. Tomorrow he can be king. Can be millionaire. Because Allah is a good thing. Don't do that. Okay? Then another principle. Don't be castigative of one another unnecessarily. Allah is a castigation. Principle number eight or seven? Number nine. Number nine or ten? Nine. nine. Now I'm going to number ten. Wala tana bazu bil alqabi bisa lismul fusuq ba'd al iman. Number ten. Don't be trading with reprehensible titles. Alqab. Alqab. Plural of what? Laqab. Title. Your name is Abdullah. But they call you Mr. Cockroach. Cockroach? Oh, his name is Yusuf. But oh, Mr. Snake. Because it's a very dangerous guy, his name. No. Oh, Mr. Cobra. This is bad titles. Don't do that. Look at how the Quran teaches Muslims to behave well. But where is our Quran today? It appeared the Quran is here, our behavior is going to different things. Falls apart, astaghfirullah al -Azim. Okay? How many principles mentioned? Ten. Be salismul fusuq ba'd al iman. It is evil names of what? We want names after iman. Waman lam Whoever that does not repent. For Ulaika, Homo Valim, such are the wrong doing ones. So you can see we have how many principles here? Ten. Previously, you have four, five, so we have ten. Before covering this page. That is why memorizing Surah Al Hajarat and the Quran generally is of paramount importance. It guides you. Whenever you want to say something, say Allah says A, B, C, say Astaghfirullah. You see, that is why if you apply the teaching of ayah number six, you will not believe a lot of things said on the social media. Believe me. Don't tell me I read it in Facebook. Facebook is a market. Everyone can come. There's a market. Social media, they can be good and bad. So you have to be very careful. 
If you want to tell people something, piece of information, apply this principle of ayah numbers. Fatabayyanu. Similarly, Allah has given a child, if you give it a good name, maintain the good name. Don't tell me, oh, my son is Abdul. No, it's Abdullah, not Abdul. Say Abdullah completely. Oh, his name is Bashir. Now I call him Bash. Mr. Bash. What is Bash? It's not Bash, it is Bashir. I came across one Egyptian. He want to impress Western people. His name is Suleiman. Yes, my name is Mr. Suleiman. Suleiman. He wanted to impress them. Come on. Maintain the good name. Just like in house, Abdullah, you say Aoud. Aoud means an old camel. That's the Aoud. Wallahi Aoud. Aoud is over Abu Miki and Ashini Aoud. Catch it Aoud. Khadija, the Jangala. So, Wala Tana Bazu Bil Al Kabi Bis and Lis Mum for so to Badalim. Back home in Africa, you hear a politician with cool bad names, cockroach, brutal, brutal, action, bad names. Maintain your good name. You don't have time to have a good one. May Allah get us a right. Um, you have more time? Time is off. Time is off. Okay. Almost or is it off? Are we on yes, time or is it off? Two minutes. Two minutes? Okay. I think we have um, we have a lot of other remaining parts of the principles. Maybe next, inshallah, tomorrow we're going to finish the remaining parts of the principle mentioned very soon. Nasallah Rabbil Alameen and Yazidana Fahm al Quran wa Amalabi Subhana Rabbi Karabi is the Amma Sifu. والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين الله سبحانه وتعالى الله interpretation you said we should learn the Arabic language so that it will help us to understand our religion and here is the case we are so fluent in the Queen's language in other words English language and the question is please share how can a student learn the language of the Quran inshallah so perfectly what are some of the techniques so perfectly in America <laughs> well Allah Allah has found everything you see the language of Arabic to man is very easy to be learned but the only thing it depends on your determination and commitment to it if you want to learn it perfectly cultivate the culture of speaking it because they say practice makes what perfect. perfect yeah if you can start speaking today you see your sheikh say your sheikh salam alaykum al hal ila ayin mada like this slowly but surely and number two take your pen write everything that you come across and you have the attitude of listening to radio broadcast in Arabic listen it's very important over the media I did it when I was young and it helped me tremendously in the process of my learning of Arabic language. And uh, there is a course in Sudan, I know. You can leave New York, go and register in Africa International University in Khartoum. For about eight month course, they have competent scholars that can drill you in no time. You come out speaking. I don't want to tell you fluently but you have something by the grace of Allah if you cannot I do believe here you can make it it's very easy so speak it between you and your friends write it listen to it and teach your little one when they're growing up now tell your children nobody speak Hausa to me or Ashanti or English but Arabic so so times at least they will pick it up. That is how, inshallah, you can make it. And make it a point of duty on you reading Quran competently. Mm. Learn how to read it. 
because it's the masterpiece of Arabic language, yeah. mm -hmm. the Quran al -Kari. So these are some of the ways, and I ask Allah the Almighty to give you the way with the capacity to speak this beautiful language. Don't you see? Some non-Muslims coming to Islam took it upon themselves to learn Arabic. Some speak it as Arabs, yet non-Muslims. They're talking about people like Gol Zihar. Come on, when he spoke it, it is as if he was born in, you know, Arabian land. So try and learn it. Nothing can be above your ability if the determination is there. May Allah make it easy. Amen. Uh, brothers and sisters, uh, we invite questions from those who cannot maybe scribble anything on in their cards. So please, if you have a question, we're going to give the opportunity for those of us who are here. You want to ask a question? I do have a question, but please, you can ask a question. That we are going to buy direct commander. Uh, the question that has been thrown uh, is if I have money or wealth that is matured for a level of zakat, in other words, it's zakatable, and I have five people whom I think that they deserve to be given the zakat, can I divide the zakat into the five and give it out to five people instead of maybe in one big box to one person? It depends on the need of the recipients. Huh? If one person to be given is more profitable, more beneficial, saving his life is better to give him. But if those to receive it are all in need, in need of being helped, then you share it amongst them depending on the need on the ground. Allah. Thank you, Ashaq. Yes, the question is in the Quran, Allah says, Walan you akhir Allah nafsan is a ja ajal. And there is a hadith from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying Malak al Maut came to Prophet Musa and Musa hit him when he told him he's here to take his soul and then the angel left. Sheikh, does this mean that Prophet Musa was an exception to the above ayah? Please can you explain to us? It's a technical question, I can assure you. In Surah Al-Taghabun, وَلَنْ يُؤَخِّرَ اللَّهُ نَفْسًا إِذَا جَعَدَ اللَّهُ اللَّهُ خَيْرٌ مَتْعَانُهُ مُنَافِقُونَ is the last of the ayah in Al-Munafiqun. Allah will never give respite to any soul when its terminal point comes. In other words, nobody is going to be delayed without dying when the time for such a soul is up. If the time is up, you will just go. Now, with this ayah, we have a hadith that said the angel of taking lives came to Prophet Musa and Musa hit him. He wouldn't like his life to be taken. Is Prophet Musa an exception to this general Quranic ruling? That's no question. I say no. Allah made it in such a way that his time today was not up. 
and Allah sent the mother to go and just test him. That's it. Just like Allah says, وَإِذْ قَالَ رَبُّكَ لِلْمَلَائِكَةِ إِنِّي جَعِلٌ فِي الْأَرْضِ خَلِيفَةٌ Allah says, I'm going to place on the face of the earth my khalifa. But before coming to the earth, Allah sent Adam way to Jannah. Later, he was brought down. Originally, he was destined to go to the earth. But then say, oh, in the, no, originally, he was supposed to be on the face of earth. But Allah had a plan. Allahu ala kulli shayin qadir. Allahu ala. The question is, uh, with reference to uh, ayah number six, in Surah al Gujarat. Uh, when two people are in altercation and then you decide as the surah says you should uh, solve whatever differences between the two people are milk happening that is the Islamic principle yeah. don't you think that if the United Nations and the world at large should follow the same principle the whole world would have been in a peaceful mood because two people are fighting you ask Lameen to stop. He says no. And then you said, okay, I accept that we should have peace. And then I refuse. And all of us who come and back you, like what is happening in the world? We back those who want to have peace and beat those who don't want to have peace. That's true. If the United Nations can adopt this Quranic principle, Wallahi billahi talla. The world will have been in peace and not in pieces and shattered as we see today. But are they ready? Yes, A lot of them in the ways. Recently, one of them is saying the Islamic economic principle is more important in solving the world economic trouble. So they know. وَجَحَدُوا بِهَا وَاسْتَيْقَنَةَ أَنفُسًا ظُلْمًا They know this is the truth. But now this is love. Archbishop of Canterbury, Dr. George Kennan in England, some years back, said Islamic law on family should be adopted in solving a lot of family troubles. In the year 2005, I was in London, about 40,000 marriage dissolved in UK. So they're saying, if Islam system will be applied, a lot of trouble have been arrested. So the truth is one. And I believe the United Nations is an important body for the purpose of making peace. That is our thinking. So if, if you look around teaching, even some of the American fathers of independence, we were informed, some of them use some of the Quranic teachings. Okay? But for somebody to come and say, I am a Muslim, that's the difficulty. <laughs> this one peace. This doesn't work. So the one that doesn't want peace, team up together, teach him good lesson, let him come back to his own senses. If that is to be implemented, like I've said, the world will definitely know peace, not only but everlasting peace and tranquility. But when time is come. For sure. Yeah, Sheikh, we thank you so much. But this question that I'm going to ask you, Sheikh, you involves all of us. Uh, at the moment, we have two presented nominees. We have Hillary, we have Donald Trump. Yes, yes yeah, Sheikh, because we are Muslims, they make decisions for us. The two of them, one of them says we are Muslims, but we hate them. So, Jamal, we put it aside. Okay. The name of the Sahaba was Abdul Lanzu Bijabi. Somebody answered it. Somebody answered it. No, it's my question. I wasn't here. I was supposed to get the book. Ah. <laughs> That's my question. I came in late. 
This question a brother answered. You even saw me embracing yesterday. And he took the book. Okay. So that means you left before there was answer. Okay, what do you do? Now it's time. The question was answered in your options. Yeah, I wasn't What are you? Allah is just kidding. Yeah, Barakallah Fikum. But really, I like it because they have answered the name of the Sahabi is Abdullahi Dhul Very beautiful. Dhul You see, it's very important to be asking this question because um, the scope of our learning is widened. It makes you know more and more and more. It makes you research conscious. And uh, it increases your appetite for looking for knowledge. You see, talking about the Sahabi, that the Prophet himself was taking his dead body down to the grave, saying, Oh Allah, I am pleased in him, be pleased in him too. So, Ibn Rasul said, How I wish I was in this place. His name is Abdullahi Dhul Bijale. So, Jazakallah khaira for your effort, but somebody has taken the book. سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين. Amen.